Okay, guys, uh, tell me how the first, now that we're into the second night, how's everything going? Pretty smooth process, learning of the line, still any nerves going on? Yes. yes. De definitely some yes. nerves. Oh, yeah. I was more nervous tonight than I was opening night. How come? <laughs> I don't know. Just like every time I was about to go on stage, I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I guess it kind of like sunk in that like this was real, that this was our second opening night, I guess you could say. I think we all have our lines down pretty much, but like whenever it comes to the little stuff that we know that we need to do, that's when the nerves kick in, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I think just really uh, little things, especially with like songs and stuff that, you know, we're, we're perfectionists, so it, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. we, mm -hmm. we kind of, uh, we, we get nervous over the little things even. It's like if we miss a note, we have to like fix it the next time because it just yeah. bugs us yeah. so much. Mm -hmm. yeah. And like when you get on stage, you, I mean, they gave us notes afterwards in our debrief and in our rehearsals, and you can write them down, you can go home and go over them. When you get on stage, you have to remember all them, and there's a million different things going on in your mind other than what am I supposed to say next? What am I supposed to sing next? It's just like, he told me to do this, th then he told me to do that. What do I do? <laughs> so. Well, talk about the reaction from the crowd, especially the little ones, because I know that they really, seem to be really enjoying it. Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's amazing. Yes. Did you think that you would have such an impact? Oh, no, no. not at all. Like, no. kids running up to you and just hugging you and holding on to you, like, you have to hold her, take a picture, and hug me, you know, it's just something that, you know, you can only really experience during theater, and it's an interesting thing, like, I can't really describe it. And it's like, it's not even the kids, either. it's not just the kids, it's like also, I've had about five, six, seven, maybe ten adults come up to me just crying, saying, oh, you know, this used to be my favorite musical, or this or that, and, you know, saying, this moved me, or this spoke to me, and that's, it feels so good as, mm -hmm an actor or an actress to have someone say what you did moved us. Yeah, and I, I've had a lot of people come up and say things like, uh, this was my daughter's favorite movie growing up, and it's so refreshing to see it on stage and to see other people enjoying it, and that, that, was, uh, that was a comment that I got. My biggest fear was that they wouldn't laugh, <laughs> and so when they did, that just like, boosted my confidence a lot and so it helps so much when they interact and laugh and actually like get the jokes. Yeah, so, it's like the audience so fuels great. us in a way. Oh. Like their laughter, their enjoyment, it's what makes us want to do better or be more bolder. It just puts character into us a lot more. For my under under the water characters, is that a challenge at all to kind of keep that mindset? Um, I'm still underwater. Um, and, and acting still at the same time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like you don't have feet, and you still want you want to point at your feet or do something with your feet, but you can't. And you, just, you have to remember that, and it's hard yeah. sometimes. We changed my death scene about four times because <laughs> a we have we only have one shell, and we can't throw it, and it can't break, and other and also like she can't throw it down and break it hard because I mean you're underwater it's not gonna f like fall to the ground super hard so we changed the death scene about 12 times honestly. <laughs> <laughs> well, what are you hoping that the that everyone gets from this both young and old? Just in whatever oh way that they're moved by it I think that I mean different pieces of art speak differently to everyone and so mm -hmm. this is a piece mm -hmm. of art and so they're gonna come in and however it speaks to them I hope that it does. I just want them to be engrossed, you know. I, I want them to be a, feel like they're a part of it for a moment, mm -hmm. you know. They're they're a part of the story. They're, you know, there's nothing else going on. They're just, it. That's what I want. <laughs> they're lost well, my yeah. first time leads real quick. Before what we're going to end with. Um, how does it feel to be up here having such big roles? Oh, gosh. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Nerve wracking. <laughs> First night, I was just shaking the whole time, like, oh my god, am I gonna mess up, am I gonna mess up, am I gonna mess up, and everyone's like, calm down, you got this, just do it. And when I go on stage, those nerves, like Ariel said, they just, they fuel you, and you do so much better with them, so it's a good thing to be out here. Thank you guys, I really appreciate it. Thank, Thank you so much.